This is the fourth photo in my series about grief, loss, and moving on. And this photo represents the grief that comes with moving. For those of you who are more technically inclined, let me get the details out of the way real quick before I talk about the actual subject of the photo. The photo was made by compositing four sheets of 4x5 Kodak T-Max 400. The scene was lit by a 300 watt continuous light with a softbox and a smaller lightsaber style light inside the truck. I shot all four of the sheets at half a second shutter speed and an aperture of f9.5. With that out of the way, for any of the photos in this series, they're not necessarily supposed to make you feel sad and they're not supposed to look excessively sad either. They're more just to open the door to having some of the hardest conversations to have about grief, loss, and moving on. So for this one, I wanted to open the door for talking about grief that comes with moving, something that I feel like is easy to overlook or dismiss as something else. I think some people experience this more than others. I also think it can happen even when you're thrilled to move to a new place. Ultimately, grief in its most oversimplified form is a big change in your life. And obviously, moving is a big change. Depending on where you move or how far away it is, you will experience a literal change in environment, maybe a change in weather, a change in culture, change of routine, change of friendships, change of neighbors and community. It could even include a change of a job, which is a whole other event that can trigger grief on its own. There are so many things that change when you move, no matter the circumstances. So obviously it should trigger some level of grief. For me, moving to Chicago about a year ago surprised me with how much grief I felt because I've known for years that I wanted to live here. So when I finally got here, I was pretty confused to be feeling sad and generally weird. You know, I missed having a car. I missed my community in Columbus, Ohio. I had to create a new routine. I started a new job. I inherited another cat. Uh, I wanted to make new friends and more. All these things are changes. That grief didn't last very long for me, maybe a few weeks. I tend to be pretty adaptable to new places, but it happened. And even though I moved to a place I knew I wanted to be in, a place where I already had tons of close friends and even some family, I still experienced grief. And again, that's what this photo opens up the conversation for. What was it like when you made your first big move? Maybe you didn't leave your hometown, but you moved into your own place. Maybe you moved for college or a job or a significant other. And when you really think back on it, did you experience grief? even if it was only for a little while? Tell me about it if you feel comfortable sharing, but if you don't feel comfortable sharing, don't worry. Again, this is a series that's just there to open up the conversation if you want it. There's a playlist of the other pieces in the series, which include losing a sense of home, losing parents in a divorce, and losing a partner if you're interested in seeing those as well. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the latest piece in my series about grief, loss, and moving on.